Every day in the office, I see multiple patients coming in with new, sudden, blurry vision. And in some cases, the cause is not so dangerous. It could be a migraine aura or dry eye. But in other cases, it can be something much more urgent, like a retinal detachment, an acute angle closure glaucoma attack, or bleeding inside the eye. And we need to act quickly to try to prevent permanent blindness. So in this video, I'm gonna go through seven of the most common and most important eye conditions that can cause sudden blurry vision that you and your eye doctor don't wanna miss. By the way, I'm Dr. Michael Chua. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and I make videos to help you see better, look better, and feel better too. Okay, the first conditions we'll talk about are migraine auras and ocular migraines. These conditions can cause pretty concerning symptoms that often make people come in to see an eye doctor. Now, in both migraine auras and ocular migraines, patients can see visual disturbances like zigzag patterns, flashing lights, shimmering shapes, kaleidoscopes in their vision, or even temporary blind spots or what we call scotomas. In a migraine aura, we usually see these symptoms in both eyes, and it can be associated with a migraine headache. The reason why we see these symptoms in both eyes in a migraine aura is because these visual symptoms are caused by abnormal vascular and electrical activity in the occipital lobe in the brain, which is where the brain processes visual information from both eyes. In an ocular migraine, we see these visual symptoms in one eye because this condition is caused from temporary spasms or dysfunction of the vasculature in the retina of one eye. Luckily, migraine auras and ocular migraines are temporary and not dangerous, but sometimes these conditions can be confused with other conditions that can actually cause permanent damage to your eyesight, like retinal detachments, optic nerve inflammation, or even neurological conditions like multiple sclerosis or a stroke. So you'd want an experienced eye doctor to help you definitively diagnose your problem. Now, in terms of treatment and prevention for migraine auras and ocular migraines, one of the primary steps in managing these conditions is to keep track of your triggers in a migraine diary and to avoid these triggers. Some common triggers reported in the medical literature include alcohol, caffeine, processed foods, changes in the weather, excessive noise, flashing lights, and poor sleep. If you feel a migraine aura coming on, it helps to seclude yourself and lie down in a dark, cool, and quiet room. Some over-the-counter treatment options include non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications like Advil or Tylenol. Another common option is Excedrin, which includes acetaminophen, aspirin, and caffeine. If lifestyle changes and over-the-counter options are still not providing enough relief, your doctor may consider prescribing medications like sumatriptan for more severe migraines. Okay, the next important cause for sudden blurry vision we'll discuss is retinal detachment. Now, retinal detachments are medical emergencies and require prompt surgical treatment to try to prevent permanent vision loss. Let me quickly explain what the retina is. The retina is the light sensitive tissue in the back of our eyes that captures incoming light and sends this information to the brain, allowing us to see. A retinal detachment occurs when that retinal tissue separates from its underlying support tissue. A retinal detachment can quickly lead to significant vision loss or even permanent blindness if it's not treated promptly. The most common symptoms associated with retinal tears and retinal detachments are a sudden increase in floaters, flashes of light, or seeing a dark curtain or shadow moving across your vision. If you notice these symptoms, you want to see your ophthalmologist as soon as possible so they can take a look at your retina. If you're found to have a retinal detachment, Treatment usually involves surgery to repair and reattach the retina, and the success of the procedure often depends on how quickly the surgery is performed after the detachment occurs. Okay, the next vision changes we'll talk about are vascular occlusions. Now, the retina in the back of our eyes is one of the most metabolically active tissues in the entire body and requires a constant supply of blood flow. Our retinal arteries deliver blood to the retina, providing nutrients and oxygen to our retinas, and our retinal veins drain blood away from our retinas, carrying waste products away. Sometimes little cholesterol plaques or emboli can break off and lodge in the retinal artery causing a blockage of blood flow or a central retinal artery occlusion. This quickly leads to ischemia or damage to our retina tissue from decreased blood supply. Patients usually mention that they notice a sudden painless blacking out of vision in one of their eyes. Central retinal artery occlusions are medical emergencies and should be treated urgently as they're basically ischemic strokes of our retinas. Now, we can also have an obstruction in the retinal vein called a central retinal vein occlusion or a CRVO. This causes a backup of blood flow in the retina and can cause sudden painless vision loss or blurring of the vision. On exam, we usually see significant bleeding and swelling of the retina from all the backed up blood. In patients with retinal swelling, we usually treat them by giving injections of a class of medications called anti-VEGF medicines into their eye. Some common medications we would use include Avastin or Ilea. These medications have been shown to help decrease retinal swelling and improve vision. The next cause we'll talk about for sudden vision change is cataract. We all have clear natural lenses inside our eyes and with time, these lenses can become cloudy. This is called a cataract. 
Usually, cataracts don't cause sudden vision loss because cataracts tend to develop slowly over the course of many years. But there's a certain type of cataract called a posterior subcapsular cataract, which can cause relatively fast changes in vision. Posterior subcapsular cataracts look like these hazy plaques that develop on the posterior or back surface of the lens. And as that posterior subcapsular cataract grows, it clouds our vision. When that cataract crosses into the central visual axis, basically right in the center of our vision, then it can cause significant blurring of our vision. And I've had patients with posterior subcapsular cataracts who come into the office to see me because they notice that basically they woke up with a large change in their vision. And on exam, what I'd find is that they have these posterior capsular cataracts growing right over the center of their vision. And after cataract surgery, that vision clears right up. So although cataracts are not classically known to cause quick changes in vision, these posterior subcapsular cataracts are something I make sure to look out for in patients who mention new blurry vision. Okay, the next cause for sudden blurry vision we'll talk about is acute angle closure glaucoma, which is a medical emergency and needs to be treated as quickly as possible. Let's quickly explain what occurs in acute angle closure glaucoma. The eye is filled with a clear fluid called the aqueous humor which is produced by a structure called the ciliary body. This fluid flows out of the eye through a small drain called the trabecular meshwork. The trabecular meshwork is located in an area called the drainage angle. If this drainage system is blocked or closed off, then fluid cannot flow out of the eye properly, causing eye pressure to increase. This increase in eye pressure can lead to damage of the optic nerve. And if it's not treated right away, it can lead to permanent vision loss. People who are experiencing an acute angle closure glaucoma attack usually notice sudden and severe eye pain, blurred vision, and may start to see halos around lights. They might also feel nauseous and have a headache and their eye can look red. Usually, we treat these eye emergencies using eye drops and medications to lower the eye pressure and either a laser procedure or a cataract surgery to help open the drainage angles and allow fluid to drain out of the eye. Okay, the next cause of sudden vision loss we'll talk about is wet age-related macular degeneration. In wet AMD, abnormal blood vessels grow under the macula, which is the central part of the retina that's responsible for sharp, detailed vision needed for activities like reading, driving, and recognizing faces. These abnormal blood vessels are weak and fragile and tend to leak fluid or blood, leading to swelling and damage to retinal cells. When there's new bleeding or swelling in the retina, it can cause sudden changes in the vision. Patients often mention that straight lines can appear wavy or what's called metamorphopsia, or they mention that they have a dark or blank spot in the center of their vision. Treatment for wet macular degeneration often involves injections of medications directly into the eye. These medications, such as Avastin or Ilea, help to stop the growth of abnormal blood vessels and reduce swelling, which helps to stabilize or even improve vision. Treating wet AMD quickly with eye injections helps to preserve as much vision as possible. Okay, the last cause of vision loss we'll talk about is diabetic retinopathy. Basically, what happens in diabetic retinopathy is elevated blood sugar levels over decades causes damage to the small blood vessels in our retina. This can cause these damaged blood vessels to leak fluid or bleed. We can also see the growth of abnormal, weak, and leaky blood vessels in our retina, or what we call neovascularization. Two specific complications from diabetic retinopathy that can cause sudden vision changes are diabetic macular edema and vitreous hemorrhage. In diabetic macular edema, we see that those damaged blood vessels leak fluid into the macula or the central part of the retina responsible for our sharp central vision. Diabetic macular edema is the most common cause of vision loss in patients with diabetic retinopathy and requires prompt treatment, usually with injections of medications into the eye to reduce that swelling. In vitreous hemorrhage, what we see is that those small, abnormal, leaky blood vessels that can develop in diabetic retinopathy, they can break and bleed into the vitreous or the clear gel that fills the eye. When we have all that blood floating around in our eyes, it can cause a sudden loss of vision. People often mention that they see large floaters or shadows or if the bleeding is severe, patients can basically only vaguely see moving shapes in their vision. Depending on the severity and duration of the vitreous bleeding, patients will often need injections of medication into the eye and may also need a surgery called a vitrectomy in which all the blood is sucked out and cleaned out of the vitreous. Okay, so that was a whirlwind review of some of the most common causes of sudden vision loss. In many cases, these conditions require urgent treatment to try to save as much vision as possible. So seeing an ophthalmologist as quickly as you can is very important to optimize your visual outcome. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you live in the Los Angeles, Orange County, or Inland Empire area and want an eye checkup, feel free to visit our website or give our phone number a call to make an appointment today. I'm Dr. Michael Chua. See you next time.